What's up, y'all? It's uh, Marty the producer one more time. Uh, back at you with another segment. I know the last two times I did um, album reviews, uh, coming from a producer standpoint, what I thought about the albums. Uh, for the first time, I'm going to go ahead and do a movie review. Um, excuse my scruffiness. I've been running for the past two days. Just had a second to get back home, chill for a little while, and decided to go ahead and do this video. Um, so it's January 18th, I believe. Yeah, Sunday, January 18th. I'm um, 2009. A lot of good things happened for me in 2009. Um, just paid off my car, so now I own my car. Um, making moves and with my production company working on songwriting, producing. Miss J album, well not her album, but the preview to her album is coming out this summer. So check it out. Um, been working on a lot of things. Um, and this is just one thing to show you. Even during the recession, you know, some of us still getting cake. I just got approved. Well, actually I just received, I went and checked the mail today and just got my platinum mastercard just so you'll see it's not a debit card the word debit's nowhere on it it's a, and this is my name cover up that part all right all right would y'all get the point uh mastercard sent me a platinum card so um that was tied to them, just trying to build up my credit. Life is good right now, 2009, I really can't complain. So uh, I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, yesterday, I went to see the movie Notorious. Now, I'm showing y'all the movie ticket because, you know, some people got the bootleg or, um, you know, went and saw it another kind of way. Anyways, um, went to the movies. Really liked the movie. Uh, I would give it two thumbs up, four and a half stars out of five. Um, I'm a big Biggie, van, Biggie fan. Um, that movie, I think, portrayed him very, very well. Um, can't. There's not too many things that would change about the movie. Really enjoyed myself. Uh, the guy who played Puff, I think, did a good job. Um, the guy who played Big, I think, should get an award uh he was very believable there was a couple parts where i was like you know they could have changed up a little for example when he battled uh when biggie did a battle i think his, the guy's name was supreme or preem or whatever um there's actually a youtube video where biggie actually does that battle i want i, I would have wished that they would have taken you know biggie's rhyme and like had the the guy playing Biggie just like mouth the words, I think that would have made it a little bit more believable. Um, other than that, you know, everything else was believable. Um, uh, the lady that played Faith Evans, for some strange reason, she like her speech sounded like Faith from you know from what I remember. Uh, also. Um, I don't know if Kim has ever commented, Lil' Kim has ever commented on, you know, how she feels she was portrayed in the movie, but I don't think she really would like the way that the movie's portraying her to be. Uh, granted, it, it was a, the lady who played Kim did a good job, um, but, you know, uh, Kim, Kim showed her, you know, that she could rap, showed that she was close to Biggie, show that Biggie helped her with her rhymes. Well, not really helped her, but gave her a few tips or whatever. Uh, there was a part in there where she was supposed to be the Marilyn Monroe of hip hop. Um, all that was cool, but then there was this other side that they showed her Kim that I don't think Kim really, you know, wanted to be seen out there. But anyways, you know, I, I'm gonna check YouTube or whatever and see if, you know, Kim has responded to um, how she felt she was portrayed in the movies, in that movie. Um, what else? 
I liked how the movie started off. I'm not going to try to give away the movie, but I like how the movie started off with his death and how that happened and then stopped it and then went back to his childhood and then brought you from the childhood all the way into the same scene that started the movie. I think that was a perfect way of showing it. Uh, a couple things I didn't know. Um, well, I knew him and Pac were tight. I didn't know that, um, you know, they thought, well, I knew they thought Biggie set him up or whatever. I didn't know that Biggie rushed down to go check on Pac, and I didn't know that Pac and Puff were speaking when he when he, when Pac got shot. Uh, Puff was right there in front of him, you know, trying to help him out or whatever, and you know, Pac was communicating with him. I don't know when I heard I heard I think I heard C's tell the story before um, on some interview or whatever. And it just didn't seem like I guess in my mind it didn't go down like that. But um, you know, I, that was a good scene. I like that scene. Um, what else? What else? Overall, like I said, the movie is great. Uh, I probably would go see it one more time before it hits the DVD. Um, good job, Puff. Um, you know, I know you had a hand in directing this movie or whatever. Um, really great portrayal of the life and death of Biggie. Um, like I said, one of my favorite rappers. Um, liked him over Tupac. think he was a great lyricist or whatever. Um, I think one thing that I liked about Biggie was the way he delivered his rhymes over the beat. The way he he um, stopped and started his phrases and how his voice laid over the track. Um, you know, just basically he would fit his voice to the track. So um, that's all I got to say. So until next time, um, just stay tuned. I'll be hitting y'all with more videos. Those beat videos will be on the way. So check that out. Um, like I said, I'm songwriting, producing, um, things like that. Working with my artist, Miss J. Check out. Um, you should see a link on this side. No, I'm sorry. This side. You should see a link somewhere right there. Just basically shooting you uh, to Miss J's website, letting her know what she's all about, and my website on MySpace, letting you know what you know my past and. To the present so until then um y'all take it easy and i'll see y'all at the grammys